Airbus has received the good-to-go confirmation from airworthiness authorities that the A320neo has the thumbs up to go into commercial service. Certification from the European Aviation Safety Agency and US-based Federal Aviation Administration is essential for any new aircraft program and it comes less than 40 months after the NEO carried out its first test flight. NEO, of course, stands for New Engine Option, 20% in extra fuel savings. Today, we have the type certification of the A320neo powered with a Pratt & Whitney engine. Type certificate is marking the end of the development process and the airworthiness authorities are witnessing that we have developed a safe aircraft that we are able to put in service and make passenger transport with it. To get there, Airbus had to put the best-selling single-aisle aircraft in the world through the hoops. A whole bunch of extreme tests were carried out to ensure everything on board, including new innovations, worked as expected. That means taking the plane to a very hot desert location, like the United Arab Emirates. The plane was also tested in extreme crosswinds. Of course, these tests are in conditions that the aircraft will never face once in commercial service. But the idea is to ensure that all safety regulations are more than matched. On the NEO we have a couple of new systems which we have to test and certify. But we also have to make sure that there is no regression uh, on uh, the other systems which are not necessarily modified due to the new engines. Many other tests were carried out to see how the plane handled extreme vibrations in brutal takeoffs and landings. They're called maturity testing, so the aircraft is ready from the day it's delivered to a customer. With the certification in the bag, so to speak, the next target is getting the plane to its first customer, Qatar Airways, by the end of this year. It ordered the aircraft back in November 2011, and it's not alone. More than 70 customers have ordered over 4,300 of the planes. That means Airbus's teams have big challenges ahead. So quick celebrations now, and then back to work. Celebrating today. It's a day to celebrate. Don't forget it. Uh, then we are preparing for the entry into service, uh, which is not so far from now, with our launch customer, Qatar. We have a couple of customers coming after, and for sure then there is more the industrial part, uh, which is securing the ramp-up and the output uh, year on year.